When should you buy the Bitcoin dip? Well, today we're gonna to look at an indicator that will tell you exactly when you should buy. So if you guys like that kind of content and you're new here, smack that subscribe button. And of course, smack that like button so we can reach some more homies. Let's get right to it. Looking at the Bitcoin chart, we're currently at $37,517. We're holding up there. We've been chopping between this region of around $42,000 and $30,000. We definitely wanna get back above that $42,000. But that indicator that we were just talking about, that is the hash ribbons. You see, we just printed the capitulation in here. So now what we're looking for is this blue circle, which means to buy. So once we get that blue circle, say, hey guys, this is the perfect time to buy. But like, let's just show you previously what the hash ribbon has done. So the blue buy right here, you would have bought here and look at that massive gains are made. I mean, you would have bought up right around just under like $20,000. I mean, Bitcoin topped currently at around 64. So that was definitely a good buy. Look at this back here in May of 2020 when we had the Bitcoin halving. This a red thing right here is showing, hey, this is when the Bitcoin halving was. So look at that. It was approximately in June 24th. You got the end, end of the capitulation. And we see the buy right here was in July 13th. It was still a great buy of around $9,200. So we just zo like zoom in here. Look, once again, same thing. Once again, bam, right there. We keep going back. It calls it pretty good. So it's like sometimes you would have been better off like right here. You know, so it had the capitulation right here. Obviously, this is a capitulation event. I mean, just a massive, massive downward like momentum. This was actually the liquidity crisis back in March 2020. So there was a run for cash. But nonetheless, it showed, hey, we have massive capitulation. And it printed a buy signal at around $7,000. When if you would have gotten before here, you could have got down easily in the $5,000, $6,000 region. If you would have got in on a wick, we're talking around $4,000, maybe $4,500, if you were lucky enough to get in on that wick. Because I know things were very, very volatile back then. It was down fast, up fast as well. So, I mean, it's not it's not perfect, guys. Th like This isn't perfect. There's other, like, other things you want to keep in mind. But it's still, it's still a decent time to buy. I mean, here it was actually higher when it kind of called. And then when it told, told to buy, it was slightly lower. So currently, we're still waiting for that blue circle. That blue circle, it, it could take some time. I mean, we could get it very soon. It could take some time though. I see we have two of like of, of the green ones right here. So maybe it will take a little bit longer. Look, that green one, I mean, the, like the blue circle came a little bit later on that one. So we'll see how that happens. But then here, you know, you, like you had the green one and then bam, it popped right away. So guys, I would just keep your eye on this. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know, I know we, we've talked about the hash ribbons, I think months ago, we kind of just completely forgot about it but we'll, like we'll see how like how this plays out but currently with bitcoin we're still under the 200 daily mo moving average that's not something we want to see we keep getting rejected this is not good we need to take this resistance and turn it in, like into support why do i say that well let's just look left look back in 2017 the entire bull run we were actually above above the 200 daily moving average and once we came below it turned out to be the bear market but let's actually go look at the BLX we'll, we'll, and we'll go back to 2013. So back in 2013, it, it it's kind of similar to what's going on now. It, it had a mini bear market in the bull run. And as we see, we fell right below the 200 daily moving average. And that's 2011, actually. In 2011, that, that was like a little bit different. Right here. It's my bad. 2013. So in, in 2013, we did fall below, I was going to say. We did fall below and we did close below, but then we came right back. So that's something to keep in mind. It's like we have more candles below than back in 2013. I mean, in 2013, it also fell, it fell about 77%, which is, I mean, absolutely insane. There's definitely a lot of fear. Like, look at that, about 80% from wick to wick. Depends what chart you measured is. Uh, just basically set like, set like 77 to 80%. That right there is a massive dump. But look, we had that close there. We did close there as well. Then things came back. And then, of course, this is when the bear market started. Let's zoom back here. Current times, just to show you again, we have a bunch of candles there. And to actually get the most updated price to go here, we we keep getting rejected. So it, it, it was hopeful to see on the 20th that we did close above. But then, you know, then we fell right, right back down. So we'll see how, how that plays out. What do you guys think of this hash ribbons? Do you guys like it? Do you guys not like it? Is this the first time you heard about it? 
let me know down below. And as always, guys, I hope you guys are having a great rest of your day. Thank you for tuning in. Smack the subscribe button. Smack the like button. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. But until then, may those gains be with you.